Marcus was supposed to be my name. My dad wanted me the firstborn carrying on the family name. But surprise, surprise, I am a girl. But I must have felt that energy somehow because I always loved playing with boys and with boys' toys. And when I grew older, I took on some daring sports such as white water kayaking and mogul skiing. And with both sports, I ended up in the national team. I became a national champion white water kayaking. I started building a business around kayaking. And guess what? The people I employed, they were men. All my competitors, they were men. But they were great role models for me. They taught me how to build and scale my business. And when I sold my business, I started working with women, helping them do the same, scale and grow their business. What a journey that became, because they did business totally different from what I was used to, as if they were coming from a different planet. But I had to admit, most of them were not so successful. At one day, my personal coach comes over to me and he asks me this question. Tineke, are you resisting your feminine side? And I have no idea. But boy, was he right. What a journey that became. And I transitioned from the masculine go-getter woman and high achiever into the caring and vulnerable feminine woman. I made the journey from my head to my heart. And I now understand both sides so well. I understand the subconscious biases from man to women and the other way around, because I've been there. My name is Tine Kerense, and I work with male and female leaders, become allies and bridge the gender gap. And I'm also president of She Credit, a nonprofit organization that works with businesswomen and help them find growth capital for them to be able to scale and grow their business. Because it's been proven that this is very hard for women. Businesses are predominantly masculine systems. It's been built by men and it's worked and served for decades. But now women have arrived and they struggle in the masculine system. They either have to adopt a lot of masculine skills or they give up their career ambition and they settle. Now is the time we start embracing the feminine traits as well as for men and for women. Men and women can be masculine and feminine. We all have both. Part of it is inherited, it's cultural, education, or it can be learned at a later time. We all deserve equal rights. Not because we are equal, we're very different, but that is exactly how it's supposed to be. And that creates the magic. How do the masculine and feminine play out in business? An example, the masculine rational versus the feminine intuition. Competition, collaboration, profit-oriented, service-oriented. Harmonize the masculine and feminine within yourself and become an unstoppable force. And when you do this in your business, things will start to change now.